All right, this is my daughter's 2017 Hyundai Elantra. It's the base model, the SE, and it has 129,204 miles on it when we're doing this service. I'm gonna go ahead and loosen my, where we add the oil at. Boy, that was on there hard. So just gonna let that sit right there. There's our oil filter. So it gives you that nice wide opening for that. I like that. And then to drain the oil, it's right there. Okay, so under the car again, now we got that cover off. So now we can see everything. So there, we already talked to you about where the oil filter was. We could see that through the cover. There's your oil pan, your oil drain bolt. All right, pardon my messy workbench. Um, so we're gonna use a 17 millimeter uh, socket to get the oil drain plug off. But I wanna share a couple of things about the oil filter. So this is a Lyle part number. I'll put part numbers and a bunch of stuff in the description. So please look at the description. You'll be pleased to find a bunch of stuff there. This is a Lyle 61550. Uh, it's an 80 millimeter socket that is made for these Hyundai Kia uh, oil filters. So uh, this is a genuine Hyundai Kia filter. Again, I'll put part numbers in there. Uh, so this is made to grab and loosen. So uh, this um, came out of that box. It's got this plastic um, plastic coating that needs to be lifted. Um, very nicely packaged. I got gloves on there. So it just lifts right off. And then we'll take some dip our finger in some oil. This is 5W20. This is what we're going to put in. Mobile One, extended performance, high mileage for 75,000 and over, protects to 20,000 miles, 5W20 full synthetic. We will change it every five, but it's very affordable at Walmart. Very good oil. This is what we're choosing to use. You can use whatever you want. As long as it meets the manufacturer's recommendations, which is 5W20. So we have our new filter ready to go. We're going to use a 3 8 inch socket with an extension and this tool to grab a filter. Now, it's going to be pretty easy today because we took the cover off. But in the future, this will be nice to reach up in there and do it with the cover on. So... We're gonna take off our old filter and then we'll end up putting on our new filter. So let's go do that and drain the oil. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack that open. That's really all we need this for. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove our tool so it doesn't get oil all over it. And then just a matter of doing it by hand. So when you do that, don't try to keep loosening it. Just get your hand out of the way. Let some of that at the top just kind of drip out. Because, you know, it's just a little bit there that's going to come out. All right. So now I think I'm good to grab it. I don't think it's going to spill anymore. Not a lot anyway. Hmm, wow. That was easy. So we'll just tip that over and let it sit in our drain pan. So see, it just, uh, you always make sure that your rubber ring is attached to your old filter that comes off. I just want to look at this and see if it was also Hyundai Kia, but yes it is. So it was a Hyundai Kia filter, so that's good that that was used by the well, it's probably used by the dealership that we bought it from. They probably changed the oil. So we're gonna wipe this ring, kind of rub it with our rag, because it's kind of dirty. It, 
looks like it had a little build up on it. So we want that to be a nice surface. And we're gonna wipe any spills off our oil pan so we don't get that smell of burnt oil when we start it up. We're gonna really wipe out inside where that oil filter goes. Try to clean that up real well. Wipe our threads off real well. Okay, I'm ready. On my new filter, it's already got oil on the black ring. So we're just gonna put it on. I just tighten this by hand. I don't use any tools. Okay, so that's that. Now, I'm going to get a 17-millimeter socket. I'm going to come back here. This is my, can you see this on the camera where this bolt is at? I pointed it out a couple times already. Mm -hmm. So this is our oil pan. This face in the back of the car is our bolt. I have to get in a better position to get some torque on this thing. Okay. This was put on a little tight. Way too tight for a oil drain bolt. Okay, this is ridiculous to have to use a breaker bar and a pipe on an oil drain bolt, but somebody has over tightened it. So we put our gloves on so they don't crack our knuckles. We got a 3 8 inch breaker bar. And then I'm gonna put a uh, pipe on the end of it. So that we get a little more torque. Ah, I think we got it. Ah. Yep. That is ridiculous. To have a drain bolt that tight. Okay, I'm gonna move my plastic sheeting way back. I'm gonna take off my nice gloves so I don't ruin it. With this oil. We're just gonna Take our drain bolt off and then get ready to move our pan. I have no idea how far it's going to go out. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I'm just kind of staying here with it so. I can already pull the pan back so that once it, you know, comes back, it's going to drip right in the pan. So I'm good where I'm at. So I can leave it and let it do its thing for a little bit. So I'm going to take this drain bolt and just kind of clean it up. Okay, so... We're gonna put our oil drain bolt back on, but we're not gonna put on the one that we took off. We're gonna put on a Fumoto valve, uh, F-U-M-O-T-O. This is model F106SX. This is the right size for this. So the idea here is to make future oil changes much easier where we won't have to remove a drain bolt. So you have this drain bolt that's hollow. Okay, it's hollow and it has a hole right there. And then you have this contraption with, with a valve. And we're gonna go ahead and take off this blue lock right here that keeps the valve from moving. So basically, you're gonna, the oil is gonna drain out right here. This spring-loaded valve is gonna uh, open and close 
let's see here. This spring-loaded valve is gonna open and close right here. And then this bolt is gonna go in our, uh, the, the side with the rubber O-ring is the side that's gonna seal up against the back of our pan. Our bolt's gonna go in here. And so our oil is in this container and it can go through this hollow bolt and then drain out here by flipping this uh, spring-loaded valve right here. So that's the idea of how these work. So we're gonna put that on right now. We're gonna use the same 17 millimeter socket that we used. We're gonna torque that to uh, 30 foot pounds, which I already have my torque wrench too. So you'll notice we do not add a crush washer because it has this permanent lifetime seal with that rubber O-ring. And then like I say, we have these clips right here that you can use if you decide to. they um, they keep the valve from moving when it's not supposed to, but Okay, so this is our drain bolt, uh, where it's gonna go right here. And we're gonna put in our Fomoto valve. So uh, I've got two pieces. I got, I got this piece. I'm gonna put the bolt right through there. And so uh, I've only got two hands. So hold on just one second. I wanna show you how that's oriented. So the bolt's gonna go right through there this black o-ring has to face the oil pan i cannot turn it this way i need that to seat up against there so okay so we have it like this and we are just hand tightening see how this moves wherever you want it you can tighten this by hand depending upon how your car the angle in your car, of course, if it's this high on day, it's going to be like this. But you can put this wherever you want. So I'm going to use two hands, and I'm going to hold this drain valve like that. And then I'm going to tighten this to the 30 foot pounds. So I'm going to need my hands for that. So I'm going to have my left hand holding this and my right hand doing the torque wrench. Okay, so this is... a. 3 8 inch um, torque wrench. I think So we got it. In the future on an oil change, all I have to do is grab the spring-loaded lever and uh, flip it up like that, and it'll drain oil out. And then when it's done, I'll just push it back. And then if you decide you want an extra measure of safety, you can always put this blue uh, plastic locking clip that comes with it. And it's kind of made to lock this valve, just like that. Goes in there like, like that. So this is how I'm gonna leave it. And the next time we change the oil, that cover will be on. And we'll just reach under there, grab off our plastic clip, and flip the lever to drain it. And we'll use our nice little socket tool to reach up there with the extension and get our filter. And it will be a quick and easy oil change from here on out. So that completes our Fomoto valve install. And we will uh, add our oil now. Okay, so we're going to add our oil. 
gonna add 4.2 quarts. This holds two, so we're gonna fill it up to two. Then we're gonna fill it up to two again, and then to point two. That way we know that we're getting exactly 4.2 quarts. There's the two mark. Now, I have a special funnel I just recently bought for my Honda. Hondas. And then I checked it and it's the same size. So I get to use it for this too. It's a special funnel for this where that threads right into the, where you add it, SA5W20, SAE5W20. So you just thread this, this funnel there. And then you can, you don't spill it. You don't have to hold it as good. You can see the oil in the clear part right here. So there's two, two more is four. Two. All right. There's our oil change is done.